These pirates are called the Fire Reavers. A large group of faithless criminals from Order have illegally converted a number of civilian starships into weapons of war. Operating on the fringes of our space, these heretics have started calling themselves the Fire Reavers and are responsible for several attacks against civilian shipping lanes. Their profane, profane activities must not be allowed to continue. The faithful shall prevail. So where did it say they were then? I didn't take, didn't notice it saying. <laughs> That's a problem. Uh, yeah, let's get one more Corvette out. I guess I'll hold out. I might buy an Admiral then, we'll see. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Maybe the scientists can wait. Moving in a decent amount every month, so it won't be too long before I get another scientist. Construction complete. Uh, Crescent Prime. What's that energy? Oh, I actually have enough influence to expand again. So let's do just that. Construction complete. Uh, right, Starbase. That was a Corvette. I get that in very soon, so I probably want that. I think that auto upgrade, I'm not 100% sure, but um, yeah, it's going to be helpful against those pirates when I can find them. Uh, next, I don't need uh, the extra star base capacity quite yet. I haven't made a single one, but I'll be making a lot at some point. So let's get the extra reduction on tradition cost. Uh, so we're going to get our first ascension perk. <laughs> Uh, possible, possibly, probably, Construction when, uh, yeah, get the next tradition. Fleet detectives. Okay, I still don't know where they came from, but that is the fire reavers, and it looks like I have enough to deal with them. Okay, so, the mining station was built there. Let's get an admiral, then let's keep uh, chat happy. So, uh, yeah, and I think it's a good idea anyway. So, recruit here. Uh, so, age consideration definitely big consideration. That's a cheap one, but um, no other skill. That guy's a tiny bit older. Sublight speed, which is much more important now. And we've got a really good aggressive bonus there, but sadly, he's old. I think I'm just going to go for the cheap one at this stage. They can pick up uh, other skills at some stage, or maybe they will. Uh, that one's too old, that one's not that amazing, so yeah, I'll do uh, Eager, the traitors. Okay, let's add them there. If we take a look at our fleet in more detail as well, should mention about the new armor and how it works. So you can see uh, the blue bit there, horizontal line. Under it is now an orangey color. That's the armor. Armor now works pretty much in the same way as shields, except for it doesn't regenerate like shields do. You have to go back to repair it at a star base when you've taken armor damage. But that's a definite big change and a really good change, I think, as well. And uh, yeah, green is the whole hit points there. So this little uh, corvette fleet, let's go and hunt down these pirates. Okay. And yeah, I still don't know where they're starting, where they came from, so maybe they're over there somewhere. Which means I probably need to get a scientist out over here. And yeah, I still need to hire a scientist. I think I'll wipe out this that pirate fleet first before uh, sticking a scientist on there just in case. Something I mentioned as well, you can see with all of these ship icons now, 
I actually suggested that they do this in the last Let's Play I did. I doubt they were watching it, but uh, yeah, it's good that they're on the same wavelength. So they've uh, added constructor icon there for that one. Uh, scientist is a what is that? It's like a physics symbol, isn't it? And the fleet strength is also shown. So that's two stars for that fleet. Uh, so I think you can probably have up to five stars. I'm guessing, not 100% sure. Station under probably. attack. They're attacking my station here. So I got a decent chance of losing that Sally, but it's not the end Anomaly of the world. Anomaly found. Right, let's leave that be for now. If we actually look at my fleet. Can talk uh, about a certain change here. Technology secured. So now, instead of... Uh, what you used to be able to do is basically jump to any exit point when you're in this area of a system. With the old hyper lane. Hyper warp drive, which is now the only drive until very late in game. There are some actual special drives that now come in late game. You ha now actually have to travel through the system to the place where you want to go, which didn't used to be the case. So it's, uh, yeah, it was a bit strange before. And now, because of that fact, it does actually take longer to travel, although they have sped up how quick you are in the middle of a system. But uh, yeah, traveling does take a long time. And with the new war system, that can be an issue. Something you have to think about. Corvette hull points. So I think that's automatic. Certainly hope so. Next, I think I'll pick up the extra mine bonus here. Now, to be honest, upgrading your buildings doesn't really give you as much yields as making an entirely new building does. And it's certainly very expensive. You can see the cost is 90 there. Getting the initial building which produces two is only about 50 or 60. So upgrading isn't actually all that amazing, but I'm going to want to upgrade stuff at some point, certainly. And at the moment I lack minerals, so I may want to upgrade sooner rather than later, since I don't have much territory with lots of minerals in. Uh, right. For the meantime, though, let's chase down these pirates and hope I get there before they do too much damage to my infrastructure. Uh, in terms of uh, stuff to make, I can make a science lab there, but I don't exactly have much minerals or energy. Well, actually, there's a special uh, society building that I would want to stick there. So maybe I shouldn't stick a society uh, lab there yet. Use my minerals and something else. Zero G mining platform disrupted. Okay, they go for the starbase. Now, if they destroy this, it's not a big issue. Basically, I won't lose my territory. But, um, yeah, if an enemy empire were to destroy this, they basically take the territory. And uh, that would be a big issue. So, and whether or not they take it permanently it depends on the outcome of the war then. But I can talk more about Star the war later, system later, definitely. And I definitely will be. Uh, system mm -hmm. surveys. I'd say the early... Well, the game... It probably takes a bit longer now to get to certain points where you used to get to earlier in the game. Um, than it used to before. But it's a lot more fun in getting there, I'd say. There's been some great improvements. Right, where is this fleet to? They're at... Uh, Arriving. I'm gonna add one increase the fleet strength. Star probably. system charted. Okay, looks like we're there in time. Uh, so right, surveying. Where's that to? Okay, it looks like I've got lots of stuff going on down here. There. So um, let's go and do. That one. Where's this going to? Let's do that. Right. Let's hire a new scientist. And have a quick look at chat as well. Okay. 
Uh, right. Uh, yeah, Hellspurs, hi to you, is mentioning about uh, stages of the game. And the general feeling in chat is to kick pirate booty. Yeah, definitely agree with that. In fact, I'm hoping to get the booty when I find their base in a bit. I probably need to send a scientist up here. Uh, for the meantime, though, let's hire a new scientist then. Well, actually, let's have a look if the new governors are in here. Uh, this screen here as well, it doesn't take you straight to the leader screen when you're in the science bit, which they uh, need to fix, actually. They think they've added, extended this a bit, though. This is to catch people out. You could tell who was new at Solaris when they kept on forgetting about uh, scrolling down on here, uh, watching other YouTubers. Uh, so, no, I don't have uh, a new governor there. Uh, let's hire... Okay, what have we got? Survey speed, leader recruitment. That guy's the youngest. That's quite important, I guess, at this stage. So, I'm going to pick him up. And um, let's stick him there. And let's try and find these pirates, which, um, since they attack there, well, maybe they're there actually. So let's come up here first of all, see if I can find those pirates. Uh, pirate base, to be exact. Okay, so we get to look at the combat stats. This is a really nice new feature as well. It tells you the efficiency of your weapons. And you need to uh, pay attention to this. It's arguably much more than you used to, although it was probably important before. As you can see there, they're terrible efficiency. So that probably means my armor's good or my shield's good in comparison. Or I just don't have range or something along those lines. Kind of depends. Some of mine are over 100%. Uh, I didn't actually click on the details of their fleet, did I? So I don't know what they were kitted with. Uh, which I should have done, arguably. But, um, yeah. We won that convincingly. No losses. Let's get this back to base. I can't go and look for the pirates. Because I don't have scanners. Okay, that's pretty significant amount of minerals. But, um, what to spend it on? Don't really. Uh, yeah, have much that I can spend uh, those minerals on yet, to be honest. I could upgrade my fleet a bit. Oh, uh, that's got that. Let's get the science there. Uh, we lost the mineral there, so let's go and re get that. And. There's some physics over here, which uh, I think is a good time to get. Let's go and pick that up. Okay, well, that's some mineral spent. Uh, can't colonize that because it's not within my territory. I would want to otherwise, but uh, yeah, things have changed. Oh wow, got some really good planets so far in this game actually. Been pretty big. So, coming up here soon. It's going to be a good idea. Looks like there's a lot of resources here as well. Okay, I think I just found the pirates, and they're nearby. And there's actually another arid world there. So I might want to pick that up. Uh, maybe even next, my next territory. So this scientist... Let's have you go to... There. There. And instead of coming back to base, you can see the armor there isn't repairing. I should be okay though to take on this rather weak pirate station, which is an asteroid outpost. Uh, so let's take that out and uh, yeah, get the pirate booty. Tactical retreat. Okay. So, waiting on influence as usual. Um, 
I think I'll expand there next, then there. That's going to be a plan. Ah, uh, there, there. Hmm, no. I'll go around that way. Definitely want to get that at some stage, but it's pretty rubbish. Attacking enemy assets. Okay. Booty is ours. So extra minerals, extra energy, a very nice reward, especially at this stage of the game. So, yeah. Blue lasers did well. Smash drivers did poorly. So, the mass drivers, uh, they have a wicked design for a start, and they are. Uh, bad against armor so stations actually in the game do tend to have a lot of armor star bases so that's something to consider certainly and most of the AI ships I've seen so far actually t tend to um, get equal amounts of shields and armor but uh, hopefully in different circumstances they do have a wise okay uh, what is this to? Alright, let's get this over to here. Some really nice amount of minerals there, which would definitely help. When my uh, fleet is coming out of port, my re resource is getting reduced because I have that. So I want to get them back to port as soon as possible, really, now. Okay, uh, if I'd been on the ball completely, I would have had that constructor there waiting, but it's going to take a little while. Not much of an issue at all. Uh, so, that system is surveyed now. Great. Let's come down to there. I don't think there's any anomalies in my territory complete. here. Right, where is this to? For some reason it came all the way down let's go to there uh, right energy is good let's have a look at governor no tile clearing governor yet let's have a quick look in chat okay thanks to uh vault wolf uh, good night to you and uh right let's continue on a bit star system charted Right, asteroid sighted, okay. This is an ill omen. So I believe an asteroid is en route to destroying Cresceme Prime. And this is a weird, yeah, the slower travel speed comes into effect. If I don't get there in time, there's going to be consequences. I've never actually had an asteroid hit, so um, hopefully it doesn't hit this time. But uh, it's going to be a little while before I can get there. Okay. I don't think the star base is in range of it to shoot. Could build some modules on it. Uh, what's it start with, actually? Come into here. Uh, 100 range those missiles have, so it does have pretty good range, but uh, it's not firing on it. Technology secured. You actually start with each of the weapon types now, which you didn't use to, of course. Uh, we've picked up the Hollow Temple, upgrade to the Temple, so I could get a ton of extra units if I start upgrading those. There's a Soil Remediation Tech. Definitely want to pick that up at some point, and even that, actually. So, is there much soil remediation needed? That's quicksand basin. Oh, that is quicksand basin, okay. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty important tech. I've got, well, not so much here, but certainly some here. So, let's pick that up. And, of course, I have the New Worlds guy getting the tech boost. So, it works out really well. 
Ooh, okay. Aliens. And Arbitraeus. Why did it take me to the center? Uh, ooh. This could be a problem. That is another empire. I think there's a genuine race here to get these systems, and they are really friggin' good, these systems. A lot of planets down here. So I'm hoping, uh, yeah, they're not gonna beat me to them. I definitely wanna get to at least there, because that's the key choke point. Well, the first place where I could just stick one fortress. But, um, I could do with more influence, frankly. Uh, I'm about to get that now, so I got one, two, three, four systems to get quickly here. Or I could lose out, or, well, it could be an issue if I don't get up to here. Uh, we'll see though. I've got a ton of minerals at the moment, and not an awful lot to spend it on. Which is a bit of a surprise, to be honest. Uh, it's more energy, but we're actually doing pretty good for energy. Yeah, I need more territory at the moment. Technology secured. Research speed. Excellent. Next. Uh, my scientists are busy, so I don't really need assist research. Don't want them staying back. Uh, having this guy increases the likelihood of computer techs turning up. And uh, as it turned out, all of them turned up. In all three possible options. I'm gonna go for basic computer roles here. I want uh, society research labs in the main, so I won't pick up that at this stage. I haven't got it yet. But. Anomaly found. Right, let's uh, research that. Uh, I actually could do with moving, yeah, one of my other populations over here. Um, I think I'll put that on physics tile. Let's, I will actually make a lab there. Okay, do I actually want a temple here? Oh, I could upgrade that. Uh, do I have a spear guy that I could resettle? I might resettle that guy onto uh, that world in a minute. I want to get that pretty soon as well, but I think there's a race up here, definitely. Let's, uh, what were they? The Epsilon aliens? Let's actually research that. Let's find out about them now. Okay. Any guesses, chat, about who, uh, yeah, we could be up against here? What empire type would you like to see? Do you want to see uh, a crazy, aggressive one like the Varan Swarm or the uh, robot one that tries to uh, exterminate all biologicals? I've forgotten their name. Uh, there's also the fanatical purifiers. We could see a biological race that... Um, Goes nuts against everyone. Or perhaps we'll get an inward perfection empire who pretty much can't declare war. Could be anything though. So, uh, right, looks like I've found or got a special project in that system. Which I'll have to do a bit later on. Where's my fleet to? Uh, right, so nearly there. I don't know how long you've got for this. Complete. I think we're going to be in time. By the looks of it. Right, where are you two? Uh, ooh, nice. Let's get more minerals then. So, uh, let's pick that up. And that up. And... Excuse me. Let's get... That. That. Uh, 
Uh, didn't I pick up this one? I thought I had. gives a positive outcome for this, I believe. Let's see if that's still the case the or not. Power is hailing us. Okay, and uh, we've found the Pirac Empire. Uh, so, who are these guys? Gained extra influence, which was uh, mentioned in chat. Yeah, definitely a good idea doing that, especially nowadays, even more so with a need for influence. So these guys are the standard old slave and despots, despotic empire. So they are authoritarian and they have fanatical authoritarian and they happen to be xenophobes. So they get an even bigger influence bonus than me. So they could have a lot of territory already. If you actually hover over there, you get more details. So they get an extra minerals and the uh, edict cost reduction for cutthroat politics, which used to be influence they have. And I wouldn't mind picking that up later on when I really focus on edicts. But uh, yeah, that's nice options for them. Uh, interesting background for them. So uh, out of these options, this doesn't matter whatsoever. So pick any old one. First alien encounter. Uh, because we are Xenophile, I believe we're happy to uh, meet them. Okay. And that's not great, frankly. They are on the verge of getting this system. They're only one away from it. In fact, they've got some rather nice stuff already. A couple of worlds there. World there. So, um... They're also not far away from getting over here. So yeah, basically the areas where I identified as choke points, they're right on the verge of getting them. Which, um, yeah, not great. I could get a choke point there though, and a choke point there actually. So just have two star bases protecting from them there. That's definitely an option. Uh, oh, one there and one there. So, I could, yeah, that's not too bad. Now, this is where Xenophile comes in handy. Relations aren't too bad. In many other areas, Xenophile's a bit iffy, arguably. The fact that you can't purge. They're wary of us. It's on hard difficulty, and it uh, looks like we're doing pretty well so far. All equivalent, but uh, that could definitely change. Uh, the AI is going to be getting extra yield bonuses and whatnot, certainly. Uh, yeah, so, um, better keep an eye on them. I may want to get non-aggression at some point. Can't yet, because they're weary. But if it goes to receptive, we might be able to. So I think I'm, yeah, going to be continuing my expansion up here. Uh, there's no massive rush to get that yet, because that way in is protected by those aliens, so they won't get won't be able to get a star base built there yet. Yeah, but I'm going to come up to here, hopefully, and build fortresses. And uh, proceed from there. Okay, so scientist. Uh, right, you can see all of their territory as well. It's already been surveyed, basically. I'm already aware of it as well. Although I'm not aware of what uh, ships are in it until I get sensors. But, um, yeah, that's definitely a change. There's no more exchanging maps, which was actually a rubbish idea before. No, wasn't really any interest. Uh, but I believe you can now exchange contacts. Something I may want to do at some stage is actually trade research agreement, but uh, it's not possible yet. 
So they could be my first early uh, target for war or um, we may want to be friendly with them for a little bit but we'll see. Right, so I actually have enough to get another territory. Um, right, I'm going to stop that. Let's come up here now and survey in it as well. It should finish soon. Right, animal just gained a trait, the unyielding trait, which is that. So it's worse at combat disengagement, but better ship hull points and weapon damage. That's changed a bit actually before. I think with that you couldn't retreat at all. Uh, the asteroid was destroyed, which has given me a huge mineral gain. So minerals wise, we're doing pretty fantastic. Uh, and she's pretty good as well actually already. So, doing very good on both fronts. Uh, right, so... In terms of uh, what else I could be doing here... Um, I think I may... Yeah, I'm actually going to build a science lab here, but I'll probably replace it at some stage. But I'll get some benefit from it for the time being. That can go and repair. And you know what? I'm actually going to make another constructor. I've got so many minerals. I should probably use them. Okay, let's have a quick look at the chat. Uh, right. Okay, thank you to uh, Ernest in the uh, chat for uh, yeah being one of the most talkative uh, people there. Right. Star system charted. System surveyed. Uh, right. Let's. What's that? Orbital. Con oh, do I have some debris as well from the pirates? Doesn't seem like I do, which is a bit of a surprise. Uh, okay. Let's. Survey over here, I think, next. Star system charted. Briskly. Yeah, definitely want to pick that up soon. I can get that colony on the go, but I think there's a race down to here. It's uh, a bit aggressive of me, forward settling on them, basically. Construction complete. But I think I'm going to do it. Um, especially when that's the situation with them. If they were like. Uh, superior fleet or overwhelming fleet then maybe it wouldn't be such a great idea but it's equivalent mm -hmm. surface on there right uh, let's get oh, sorry gone down there is it Ooh. this is a question for chat we found uh, abandoned terraforming equipment so with this Basically, it's um, if you've seen the film Total Recall, it's a bit like that. I think that's where the inspiration for this has come from. So basically, this terraforming equipment, you have a choice between resuming the process of the terraforming equipment, uh, the first Total Recall as well, not the recent one. So, or you could dismantle it. Now, if you resume the process, a number of outcomes can happen. But I believe they're random. So I think one of the options is, or it used to be, you could turn the planet into a toxic world. Uh, one option which I didn't know until recently, and I had it in a previous game with uh, Apocalypse. Uh, the other option is you have like a nanite warrior type things that attack your population. And um, yeah, so that could happen. And it then terraforms the world into something else as well. Uh, if you get very lucky, you can uh, have it turned into a Gaia world. Now, Gaia worlds are very special, especially for 
They now actually give production bonuses to all production types, 10%, I think. So it's a bit like the machine wills, except actually not quite as good. Uh, but um, also with Spiritist, who we happen to be, we love Gaia Worlds, and in fact there's even a uh, bonus for um, yeah factions with Gaia Worlds with Spiritist. So which world is this anyway? Crest Seam. Right, it's a smaller world, size 14, so it wouldn't be terrible if I lose this completely, which I think is one of the outcomes, or have it attacked. Um, what I'm thinking of doing here then is building. I'm going to build a stronghold that will give me some defensive armies. I do have. I don't have any here. Oh, I know why, because I turned off the armies for these guys. I only have my main population. I'm going to make a stronghold here. I think... Well, let's have a look at chat. Yeah, I think, and uh, Elias uh, recommends this as well. Uh, I'm going to go for the Gaia, because this would be so good for uh, Spiritualist, I believe, if I were to get a Gaia world. I don't know how likely it is, but um, definitely seems to be uh, what people are recommending, uh, who think and think as well. Uh, Ernest does. So, Gaia Hype Train on the way. Uh, let's get doing this then. So, resume process, resume. It's going to take 13 months to do. So, I've got enough time to get the stronghold there. And I've got enough time to resettle one of my other populations here. So, let's get yeah him resettle which cost money uh where are you Krasim he could could be resettling him to his death though uh let's put him on there 100 for him slaves is half price I won't make him a slave though because I need him working there so resettle uh, right, did I get enough? Right, next one knows it's going to be settled there. Let's, uh, well, I'll keep him there for the time being, but I'm going to put him there once the, um, yeah, stronghold is made. So I'll have three armies from the stronghold. I tempted to settle another one there that would get me, uh, one more army, but, yeah, it's not such a big issue. I think... I think I could make some assault armies here that might help in a defensive but I'm not sure actually. But let's do that. Yeah, cause, uh, if I didn't wasn't clear then uh there is an option on here which you can get attacked by some sort of weird I think it might be nanite. Nanite so some weird creature or something. We'll see what happens though, Kimna. Uh, it'd be really, really fantastic if I can have a Gaia world uh, because I might want to do this, which is new with the Spiritualist. I can gain monthly unity permanently, or at least uh, it might be permanently with this one. Most edicts are actually timed. That one lasts 11 years, 6 months. Yeah, that looks permanent, but very, very expensive currently. But uh, I would definitely want to do that at some point for that extra unity. Uh, right, so... Uh, okay, looks like I need to be making that there. That's arrived. And... I wouldn't put money on me getting down here quick enough, but you never know. That's right, come over there. More planets over here. So I'm gonna get more planets definitely, just a question of how many in this area. Uh, that's weird actually. It's saying that this is done but it isn't. 
anomaly found. Well, uh, that one could be definitely left for later. I can now complete the expansion tradition. So I've got a question for chat. Which ascension perk would you like to see? I've got a couple in mind, which I may well take. But let's have a look in ascension perks anyway and show some of these because some of these are new within Apocalypse. There's the Raiden uh, unlock, which is for nihilistic acquisition. Now, normally you can only get this if you are the, I think it's called the Bar Barrack Despoilers, which I was thinking about actually playing as uh, in the Slats play. Uh, that allows you to abduct populations. To be honest, though, if you're going to be bombarding a planet, you're probably going to be taking that population anyway, so I'm not sure how valuable that is, but um, in some circumstances it could be good. That's a change. It used to be a border expansion. Now it's been changed to claim influence cost and starbase influence cost. That's pretty good starbase influence cost one actually. I've already got 10% off. I could expand a lot more quickly using that. But I wasn't actually planning on getting that. Standard research speed. That one's extra unity and attraction. Nothing that special in my opinion. This is for spiritualist and spiritist alone. So, uh, if you use that, it's a planetary edict, one of the few planetary edicts. Actually, I know three now with that. Uh, it says pop happiness, uh, extra spiritualist ethics attraction, growth speed, and unity generation. I definitely think I should pick that up at some stage. Edict lasts for 100 years, but there's ways to increase that. There's the old classic Master of Nature, which gets changed multiple times with every patch, pretty much. It's very different now. Once upon a time, it cleared block of cost entirely, 100%. Now it's only a third. Still rather good, though. But now you've got the land clearance ability, which is an edict, plant tree edict only. Uh, that's the third one I know of. Uh, but you, yeah, you do that, and you can get up to one to three extra tiles. The smaller the planet, the more tiles you get. Uh, that's what I'm definitely thinking of picking next, and uh, I may well pick that. Uh, it's very useful. I wouldn't be able to clear all of my. I wouldn't be able to get all of my um, planets done straight away because the edict's very expensive. But at least a clear block of cost would help uh, short term. Although it may not be the most useful one short term, I think maybe that one would. Uh, core system is nice. This is new. Edict duration cost 100%. So. I really want to show off the edicts during this game, and I think I will be picking this at some stage. But uh, probably not the first pick I'm thinking. So with that, if you used it on Consecrated World, for instance, you could have the bonus for 200 years. Pretty good. So, Shit Destiny. Uh, influence cost reduction for subjects. Nothing very good, in my opinion, that. Sensor range is really important now. It's changed a bit. I'll talk more about how it works a bit later when we start getting it. Uh, but also, this prevents you from having your debris reverse engineered if you lose ships, which is nice, but maybe not the most important thing. This is a key thing within Apocalypse. One of the main features, the Colossus Project. This is the planet killer weapon, which. Uh, there are actually other options with it. It's not just planetary destruction. You can do things which, in effect, do the same as planetary destruction. But uh, I think the more pacifist empires don't... Well, they can um, shield the planet to prevent it being... Well, it takes it out of the game for all intents and purposes. That. And there are other ones as well, which I've forgotten about. Then we've got the main uh, ones that from Utopia expansion. Uh, I've got literally every DLC I think going as well, I should probably mention. Uh, thanks to Paradox for providing me with all of that. Uh, but um, yeah, so uh, that's the bio route. Uh, that's the machine route. And I'm probably going to be going Psionics in this game since we're Spiritualist. Terraforming I'm going to want to pick up later on. The Gaia Worlds now is no longer a tech, it's via this. And like I think I mentioned before, yeah. 10% production on Gaia worlds to all your production types is a pretty nice bonus. 
That got nerfed a bit, but it's actually nerf capacity has been lowered across the board. It's now a thousand nerf capacity cap, and you now have a maximum fleet size that you can have, so that actually increases it, which is pretty good. Uh, Defender of Galaxies, uh, end game thing. That's uh, improves the star bases, nice. Voidborn, extra habitat, small planets, that's a very good pick. Definitely want to pick that up at some stage. Then you've got your main three uh, mega structure ones, which uh, I may want to pick up if I can. Uh, I've already, yeah, so there's a lot to pick here. One, once upon a time there wasn't so many, I can, there's probably about 12 picks I would quite like to have, frankly. Let's have a quick looking chat then, see what's going on. Uh, so, um, Interstellar Dominion for the win. One vision is among the best starting perk, like the technology boost. So there's a quite a variety of opinions here, basically. So, which one is the one vision one? I don't like that at all. I don't think it's that good. We can get unity from various sources. Uh, ethics attraction. It's not. S it can be an issue when you've got a massive empire, maybe. But um, tech boost. This kind of generic bonus. So I don't think I'll be going that. Uh, Interstellar Dominion one. Yeah, I re I wasn't thinking about this one at all, but. Um, I am certainly more now, to be honest. I think that, yeah, definitely consider it. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with my original plan. I think I'm gonna go for mastery of nature. Then, if possible, what I might do next is go for uh, the psionic ones, which I'm definitely gonna want. I'm gonna want the world shaper one at some stage, more than likely. Guy world's gonna be great for us. Uh, definitely want to get the edict one because I want to show off edicts, the executive vigor. Uh, so there's a lot of picks already. Spiritless, I want to pick that up at some stage. So, well, there's not too many picks after that. But I'm going to go for this. More tiles you got, the uh, stronger you are. And the, that, the extra energy I'll get from clear, clear blockers will be very handy. So I'm going to pick that up. Okay. So I think, yeah, the... Uh, Starbase one would have been a bit better short term at the moment, but um, I think that's maybe the one I would have gone for if I didn't pick that. Right, let's continue on things. Took a while. Uh, right, so we've got armies coming in here. We've got this Gaia terraforming process coming in. Uh, making that there. Saving up on influence. I could rival them maybe now actually. Oh, I... Can I? No, there's actually been changes to how rivalry works. I probably have to border them. And you can't do it when you're pathetic or... There's a di huge difference between the empires. One of the empires is pathetic or overwhelming. Um, I could get a ton of influence by doing that. But to be honest... Well, I don't know. They are pretty weak. Maybe I could go after them early. We'll see. This is very early though, especially with the changes Anomaly recently. Found. Right, let's get that. Construction complete. Uh, Bay Prime. Uh, surface. Okay, I'll put him over to there for the time being. Uh, someone in um chat mentioned that assault armies can be used to defense. Yeah, uh, I think they can. You can definitely, well, see this, if I come here, it's not automatically put on the system, but you can land them now, which uh, I remember um, Martin and Wood saying they might not do this at some stage, but they changed their mind. I don't know if, they're, I've got a feeling they're not going to be very good defending, but uh, any little help could be useful here if we get a bad option. Uh, there's a chance this is no long. I'm no longer gonna be able to habitate this with my poor habitability. If it's terraformed into the wrong type of planet, but um, construction. Complete. Yeah, it may well be worth uh, 
terraforming to get that guy will certainly. So let's get over to here. Make that soon. They haven't expanded down there yet. Good. Um, let's. Can I do this, or is it still giving me a weird message? Yeah. Let's get this down to here. Oh, actually, I want to get that soon-ish, so I'll move it over to there. Construction complete. Okay, so let's move that there, which I should have done up to done a bit earlier because it actually takes time for the one month for each army to be recruited. This is new as well, garrison strength. Also, combat width is new, very similar to EU4. I think how that works. It's also collateral damage done to planets, to population and tiles and buildings. Uh, and different types of army units have different type of uh, different amounts of collateral depending on. Yeah, some have more nevers. Certainly don't want to be causing too much collateral damage on my own world, though. Not sure if it's possible to. A familiar shrine. 